Yo, what's up guys? I'm Bennett and this is Get Freedom Parkour. Welcome back to another tutorial about parkour and free running. Today I'm gonna show you two tricks of parkour because they have the same basic movement but the final result is pretty different. I'm talking about the teeth vault and the lace vault. Let's check it out. Well, as I said before, these two tricks are basically the same. The only difference is in the leg. Inside leg go first, lazy bolt. Outside leg go first, it's the teeth bolt. If we want to perform the teeth bolt, we have to bring to the other side our outside leg. If we want to perform the lazy bolt, we have to bring to the other side our inside leg. Well, before to proceed with the progression of the teeth vault and the lazy vault, I suggested to check the dash vault and the speed vault. If you already know these two tricks, it will be more easier for you to perform the teeth vault and the lazy vault. I'll let these boxes for you, so you can click whenever you want. Let's go ahead with the progression now. Unlike the dash bolt and the speed bolt, in the lazy bolt and in the teeth bolt, you have to cut the obstacle in this way and not frontally. Also, you use one hand when you get in and the other hand when you get off. Okay, let's check now how to get confident with the movement. First of all, don't focus for now about inside leg or outside leg or whatever, two hands, one hand. Don't worry for now about this. Just focus about the sitting on the obstacle. So get near the obstacle and try to pass even both your legs and try to sit. Try to do this movement for several times. And if you can, try to put the other hand when you get off. Okay, once we have acquired this movement, let's try to go a little bit higher when we go to the other side. So, don't try to sit on the obstacle this time but try to pass directly to the other side. If you have some problem doing it with the standing position, you can do a couple of steps back and do it with a little run. Well, if you did it until now, congratulations! because you almost completed the tricks. Let's go to check the last part. Now we know how to pass the legs to the other side. Now we know we have to use one hand first, then the other hand, then. Now, the last part, what is it? As I said before, if I have to do the lazy bolt, it's the inside leg I have to swing first. If I have to do the teeth bolt, it's the outside leg I have to swing. Same thing when we get off. The leg that we move first, it's the leg that we have to land first. So, inside, inside, and outside, outside. But we will check how to land in a minute. For now, let's focus on the first phase, how to get in. One hand, jump with the inside leg, make it pass to the other side, outside leg follow, and in this moment, I change my hand. So, 
I approach to the obstacle, I put my inside hand, I swing my inside leg, outside leg is following. In the moment I am upon the obstacle, I quit with my inside hand and immediately I go to put my other hand to the obstacle and I make my legs pass to the other side. Same thing for the teeth bolt. The only difference is outside leg go first. So let's check the teeth bolt now. As in the lazy bolt, I approach the obstacle with my inside hand. But this time my outside leg go first. Inside leg follow. When I am up on the obstacle, I change my hand and then go to the other side and I go to land. So, as I said before, in the lazy fold, inside leg go first. So, inside leg land first. In the tip fold, outside leg go first and the outside leg have to land first. Let's check it. In the lazy fold, first I go with my inside leg, so it's my inside leg that touch the ground for first. While in the T fold, I go first with my outside leg, change my hand, and my outside leg touch the ground for first. The choose of the obstacle for the first time you want to try these tricks, it's very important. You could do these tricks on a rail like this, but this could be a problem because you don't have so much surface, so when you have to change your hand, you could miss the target and you could fall. Something like this, okay? So for the first time, I suggest to, to choose a wall for example at the same wide of your hand so you will not have too much surface to overcome with your leg but you will have enough surface that could give you more chance to put your hand while you are going to the other side okay guys it's all for this tutorial I hope you like share and subscribe to my channel and I hope you to see you to my next video or my next tutorial about parkour and freewheeling. See you guys. Peace. Oh my god. <laughs>